Hello everyone, so today my vampire friend Sherry sent me another package, or actually three packages. Well, one's an envelope, and we're going to open them. So this is actually um, opening packages from my vampire friend part 10. So let's go ahead and dive in. I think we should open the smaller ones first. So this one I think might just be a letter. Let me see if I can actually read it for y'all. Uh, oh, we got... We got multiple letter stuff. <laughs> oh, this is good. Happy Fourth of July. Feel free to tell everybody how I feel about this happy horse shit. A uh, new form of currency. <laughs> it's Donald Trump 100. A <laughs> uh, new form of currency. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty good. I've never seen... Actually, it's... uh, Yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. All right, what does she say in these uh, little pieces of letter? Oh man, this is a lot. I might have to read this later. This is a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read some of it at least. So, July 2nd, 2020. Dear American people, I gave my friend permission to read this letter to you because of all the things going on in the world. For starters, I don't give care if you believe I'm real or not, come meet me, I'll show you. For a second, forgive the language and the short vent on the state of things, but I just can't hold this in another second. Uh, who the hell decides to put Donald Trump, <laughs> I think we'll, we'll hold on to this Trump face on a $20 bill. Uh, surely this is a joke. I mean, it's an insult to Andrew Jackson and 90% 90, 90 certain it is just a joke, but remember, That 1864 Confederate $5 bill I sent Hunter is my very first box. Didn't seem real to me when those, when those first came out either. Presidents who have their likeness on our currency have earned it. They left behind some sort of legacy that they should be remembered. Uh, take, take Ben Franklin on the $100 bill, for example. Super smart fellow, sense of uh, humor, author of Poor Richard's Almanac, discovered ele electricity, uh, etc. A man worth being remembered, even though he was quite overweight in his later years. A bit of a ladies' man, too, as there are an awful lot of those. Brent Franklin slept... <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'll read probably one more of these. Ben Franklin slept here. Uh, signs posted at various spots in Northeast. How did Donald Trump be remembered? How will Donald Trump be remembered? A bombastic, not very bright political figure who told the American people to inject themselves with bleach and refused to sign the stimulus package until his name was added to the physical paper check. To me, that screams egomaniac. The bleach remark shrieks, stupid egomaniac. I saw him in person from an ad, um, from, an, uh, from a distance. He's even uglier in person. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save the rest of this just so we don't take up too much time with those. But uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm liking, uh, I'm liking her very unique way of discussing things. She's very blunt. All right, let's see what's. Oh, let's use the right side of the knife, everybody. All right. Okay, what is in this package? Uh oh. I love all our packing material. It's always like, it's always so random. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, buddy, this actually looks like it'll fit. Wanted, dead or alive, armed and very dangerous. Oh, that's so me. That's so me. That definitely fits. What do y'all think? Good? Yeah. <laughs> Badass. So if I haven't mentioned it, I have Lena and Josh here with me as well, who are part of the Makeshift Tribe. Makeshift Tribe, once again, is a Facebook group if you want to join. Uh, we're a bunch of uh, just random people talking about spirituality and um, psychology, emotional stuff, what have you. We allow a lot of different kinds of content, um, anything but like sexual and like too political. But if you want to join the Makeshift Tribe, feel free to go, feel free to contact me at www.facebook.com slash hunter.salazar. And uh, you contact me, message me, and get the ball rolling. At any rate, okay, let's see what else is in here. What? What is this? 
Oh, is that from like Watchmen? Oh, I guess you wear it on your head. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else. All right, I'm not gonna take it out of the bed. Well, let me see. Once again, there's just gonna be a bunch of trash everywhere. As always, I do not organize my trash until later. Um, if you're reading this, you're too close. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's so good. All right, and of course, what would a small box be without... I don't have a label. Jose Cuervo. Very good. I, any of y'all like tequila? Yeah? All right, let's see what else we got. So this is the... Uh, that is the end of that package. Let's go ahead and dive into this one. All right, well, let me read what's around it first. Arnold Schwarzenegger for president. Smiley face with fangs. Uh, top cut, top cut, cut here. Okay, this is the only note area. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Texas mailmen must be braver and nicer than the ones we have here. When I walk into the post office here, the two guys are suddenly uh, busy and make the lady wait on me. Uh, she might be a little nervous, but she's always polite. To all the people in the world that some fool of a doctor slapped a paranoid label on, remember this, paranoia is just uh, another f name for longevity. <laughs> paranoia is just another name for longevity. I like that. And number two, paranoia stops being paranoia when the world around you is going to hell in a, in a bucket. When it reaches a certain point, it turns into common sense. Also, check out this wrapping paper. There's the, there's the note. If y'all want to like get a screenshot of it there. All right, so let's see what she said. Okay, cut here. All right, I guess she means just cut along the box. Let's see. Oh my God, look at all this duct tape. Good God, man. <laughs> How am I gonna get into this? Oh my God. All right, hold on. I got this, I think I got this. Might've cut myself earlier like a dummy. Did. Oh man. Man, duct tape ain't no joke. I mean, I kind of knew that already, but she must have a lot of duct tape because a lot of her packages are just hermetically sealed, it seems. All right, let's see. Ah. Oh, some more skull stuff. I'm a big fan of skull stuff. Good God. There we are. All right, put that away. Let's see what else. What is this? No, I'm gonna go for the smaller stuff first. All right, so once again, very interesting wrapping. It looks like a piece of candy, actually. All right, let's take a look. Oh, it's in their skull, isn't it? It feels like a skull. By the way, everyone, skulls are just discount happy faces. I mean, look how happy they are. They're always so happy. I like this, this is good. It's another resin skull. I should have like a specific bookshelf just for resin skulls. I love it. All right, cigarillos to offer to the Loa, like Papa Legba, I love them. She listens to me when I'm making videos, for sure. All right. What are you? Uh-oh. Do not bend. What is this? Also, give me one sec. Keep the camera there. It's a disinfect to my accidental self-inflicted wound. Okay. Do not bend. Oh, it was very bent. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, oh, what are these? Goodness gracious. These are badass. They look like skull stickers? really badass skull stickers oh this one's not this one's not even a sticker this is a photo that looks like a Santa Muerte oh what's that writing say 
What's that writing say? Um, Cabrina Rose? Rose? Cabrina Rose? Rose? Is that what it looks like to you? Cabrina Rose? Yeah. Huh. I really like that picture. I'm putting it on my, uh, putting on my, uh, Shrine to the Dead for sure. That's awesome. That's why she said not to mend it. Plus we got, uh, what feel like stickers? Sorry, Sherry, I will not be placing all of these stickers on my car. <laughs> if I placed all the stickers you sent me on my car, it'd just be a sticker car. Uh, and I'd get pulled over, like, immediately. Huh. Neverdieart.etsy.com. I guess that's the one that, uh, that drew that. If y'all want to check that out, that's where you find her at. I like it. Keep that in its own pile. Oh, it looks like a wig. What is it? What is it? Oh no, what, what, oh, oh goodness. All right, hold on, I gotta take out something else before I can get the rest of this. Okay, it's definitely not a wig, everyone. All right, let's see. That is a cool black box. I'm just wondering, where do you get all these stickers, Sherry? Like, there's so many stickers. Oh, look how, oh, it's like, that's so cool, that's a good box. I'm a fan of boxes, skull boxes. That are well made. That is a very well made box. I like it. Definitely to keep some of my uh, grave dirt in. All right, so we got more stickers. Apparently, she uh, has worked in the sticker factory in the past. All right. Oh man, we got some more reading material. Everybody. Oh, twenty bucks. Oh man. You know, nothing says you're a great person than twenty dollars <laughs> well any amount of money really but uh thank you for the money everybody likes money i like money uh greatly appreciated as with everything else all right oh lordy lordy okay uh here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna read two of these pages and then we're gonna move on <laughs> so okay june 29th 2020 i know you aren't going to remember a conversation we had uh concerning totems spirit animals etc why should you? That was five months, six days, uh, and 21 hours ago. God, she remembers everything. She actually does remember a lot. All right. We got three inches of snow that night, and I sent you a picture of a handful of snow. Oh, she always describes the environment, too. That's interesting. It's okay. Anyway, even spirit, spirithoods.com spirithoods didn't have a spirit hood of armadillo. I'm damn sure not going to trap and kill six armadillos to make that hood. And so far, I haven't found imitation armadillo hide. And I assume the next word is anywhere. Uh, Wolverine, <laughs> introspective, creature, intense, secretive, determined, withdrawn at times, but a hoarder of knowledge. Fierce fighter, if provoked, but prefers to avoid conflict. Related to the bear, mates for life. This is a copy of the wolf of this is a copy of Wolverine fun in a synthetic copy. Huh. Uh, machine wash in cold water, line dry, can't be can be dried in a dryer for it will frizz. Um, size is put on, it fits. Oh, okay. So this is a Wolverine. Okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, I think we'll save. Uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and read it. If I need to, I'll just cut it out. For the, re for the record, yes, I wear real fur, but only uh, pre predation, fur, fox, etc., and nothing in danger. No rabbit, mink, beaver, no fur of animals that cause no harm, so I'm semi-ethical. <laughs> I don't like that they kill those baby uh, skunks? Uh, skulks? S seals, there we go. <laughs> to make coats either. I sure didn't like the raccoon who killed 27 of my baby rabbits just for the joy of killing. He reach, reached up through the wire and ripped their legs off. Oh my God. He wasn't hungry. I, I had been uh, feeding the raccoons cat food and table scraps. All right, we'll save the rest of this for later, everybody. I don't want this to just be a, uh, a video of reading. Oh my God. This thing is huge. It's so big. <laughs> oh man. Oh. God, I feel like there's this show where this guy, this guy, oh, it was uh, Third Rock from the Sun, where that, that guy, Harry, he just wears, like, straight up a pelt jacket. Hold on, I got this. 
I think I got this. Does it look like there's another arm over there? It doesn't, does it? I think you got it in the wrong arm, baby. Hold on, let's see. Oh, yeah, oh, you got it upside down. That's why. Oh, my God. If I went to the graveyard in this and I just had the hood up, they'd probably think I was a Sasquatch or something. They'd just probably shoot me. <laughs> oh, no, my brace is getting cut. All right. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man. It's so toasty. It's like the toastiest. Oh, man. I'm just going to go out in outdoors and nature and just do rituals in this and try not to get shot. Maybe I should put, like, an orange band around me or something. But this is, man, this is, like, this feels expensive. Good God. I'm totally going to wear this in some rituals. I feel like it, it makes me more at one with how an animal would feel. Because you feel the fur like everywhere, man. You just feel it everywhere. You feel like you're a wolf. <laughs> and the hood definitely adds to it. It just feels like you have a layer of fur. On the inside, it kind of connects you to the fur in a like warming way. Kind of like the skin is your fur. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so cool. Thank you very much, Sherry. This was like... This was like the most unexpected thing. Good God. <laughs> this is definitely uh, shamanic and useful uh, for shamans uh, when doing uh, rituals out in nature. This is awesome. <laughs> this is the last thing I expected though. That's so cool. I'm gonna have to hang it up and put it in a special spot for uh, when I go out into nature. Not necessarily for graveyards, but when I go out into nature. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Sherry. I greatly appreciate the stuff that you gave me. Um, it's wonderful. I know this probably costs a lot of money, and thank you for that, for showing consideration, and for uh, just constantly sending me all this cool stuff, and I never know when it is, or what it is. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate all the presents. They're wonderful. And uh, anybody out there who's watching this that wants to contact me and maybe contact Sherry and ask her some questions, once again, I'll give you my... Uh, my Facebook plug, which is www.facebook.com slash hunter.salazar. Contact me. Ask me questions about all the stuff she sends because there's a lot of videos. This is number 10. There's a whole playlist. And uh, I imagine there'll be more and more packages. So uh, thank you very much, Sherry. Thank you all for watching. And I hope to see all of you on the channel in the future.